me briefly about those who believe in what was sent to you and what was sent before you. Some of you might be familiar with the fitna of the, the Qadiani movement, right? Who believe in a messenger after the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and there are other movements like that too. And they use a lot of ayat of the Quran as their evidence to justify their belief. Actually, they're very clever at using ayat of Quran. And if you don't know Arabic and you don't know much about tafsir, they can run you. They can run circles around you, and you won't even know what's going on. They're very smart people. But if you, you know, one of the great scholars of, of, uh, from, from Pakistan actually, uh, Dr. Murtaza Malik, was in a debate with them. And he said to them, listen, it's very simple. I don't even have to go through the entire Quran to refute your belief. We just open up Surah Al-Baqarah, start reading, we'll find how Allah defends the faith. He said, what are you going to find in Baqarah? There's no Khatam Al-Anbiya, Khatam al nabiyin There's no, you know, ending of the prophethood in Surah Al-Baqarah. What's he talking about? He said, read the ayah. They believe in what was sent to you, meaning who? The Messenger ﷺ, and what was sent before you. There's no mention of anyone being sent. After, end of story, finish. So, <laughs> subhanAllah.